going. It's been a while since we've seen you, even longer, and it's been a while since I've taped one of these. I hope you had a good Mother's Day and that you spoiled your mommies and made her something special. Today, the lesson is going to be about a big storm. And kind of like we're going through right now, the world seems kind of like it's a big storm. But this story is about a storm at sea and kind of, and how Jesus um, takes care of us during a storm, any kind of storm. Okay, so this is a storm at sea. Here, I'll put it up so you guys can see the pictures really well before I read it. Here we go. A storm at sea. Jesus lived in the region of Galilee, and nestling among the hills was a large lake, Lake Galilee. Jesus had chosen four disciples from among the men who fished in its waters. One evening, Jesus asked his disciples to sail across to the other side of the lake. He was tired from his day of preaching and soon fell asleep, his head on a pillow. When they were a fair way away from land, a sudden storm blew up. The boat began to rock violently, dipping and plunging like a wild monster. Waves crashed over the sides, drenching the men and puddling at their feet. Everyone help, cried one of the fishermen. We could go over at any minute and wake up Jesus. Doesn't he care? Someone shook Jesus from his sleep. He sat up and gazed at the scene of chaos. Then he stood up. He called out to the waves. Be quiet. He whispered to the wind, be still. At once the sea was calm. Jesus turned to his friends. Why were you scared, he asked. Have you no faith? The men went about their work, silent and shaken. Who is this Jesus? They asked. Even the wind and the waves obey him. So that's kind of the theme of the lesson. Even the wind and waves obey him. Listen to Jesus. So we're going to do a craft based on the lesson and I have printed out and started to color actually and James has started to color a little bit too. Um, I will include this in the link. It's just a picture. You can color it with pencil crayons or whatever. You, it would be best to print it out on cardstock but you can do paper if you want and if you don't even have a printer no worries you can maybe grab some construction paper or other more solid paper and put your own drawing on it you can even write even the winds and waves obey him okay so we're gonna start by folding or turning our uh, little thing we're actually making a wind chime today so I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna staple it like this at each end. Here we go, so it's a little cylinder. Um, you can even glue it or tape it on the inside. I have tape too as well to help keep things in place. So I'm just gonna tape it down there so it stays a little better. Okay. So there's your tube, and to make the wind sock, you're gonna need a piece of smaller ribbon, or if you don't have ribbon, you can use a little strip of paper, or even a strip of curling ribbon. I, I cut some curling ribbon, so if you don't have anything else, you can use this kind of stuff that you use for presents, or any string you find around the house. So I'm going to staple this, but you can tape it. Uh, tr you could try gluing it, I'm not sure how well, that would work, but I'm just going to staple it to one side and staple it to the other side so we have a hanging little um, cylinder. Next, we're going to put some strings so that they can blow in the wind and remind us of the storm that Jesus calmed. So I have some ribbon here, but as I said again, if you don't have anything like that, you could try paper or curling ribbon like this that you find around the house or whatnot. I happen to have a lot of ribbon in my house, so I'm lucky, but you could even use yarn or string, just whatever you have. So I'm just gonna cut some of these up because I've made them a little too long. So you're gonna wanna cut your strings into little pieces um, 
you can have them as long or as short as you like. I went with about maybe 12 inches and then you can either tape them all around the bottom. Oops, sorry, my desk is a little small. You can staple them around the bottom or tape them around the bottom or whatever works easiest for you. I'm just gonna staple them for the video to make it a little faster and a little easier. But whatever works, whatever you have around the house, because I know it's hard to come by anything these days. So I'm just gonna put this on. There we go. Okay. And looks like I ran out of stapler, so next time, so I'm gonna resort to tape. Next time I should make sure my stapler's full. There we go. And I'm gonna try some curly ribbing because that gives a little bit of fun to it. I'm gonna have a little bit of these. And I'm going to tape it to the inside like this. And there we go. We have a wind chime or um, this, sorry, wind stock. And it will blow, these will blow when it's windy and in the wind. And it can remind us of the Bible story that Jesus stopped the storm. He told the wind to be still and it stopped. So you can maybe hang this up in a tree or you can hang it in your house and put a fan on it or you can blow to see how it works and just enjoy it. And I'm hoping to see you guys again soon, but uh, it might be a while. So stay safe and stay healthy and be good to your mommy and daddy.